So let's look at integrating iframes. Okay, so let's look at our sample site and we'll go to here. And we've got a whole lot of lectures that we can actually have a look at. So we just basically click on them and we should be able to get each of the lectures. And the great thing is here was we're using Ajax again. Yeah, so that there's there's minimal updates in the page. You can obviously zoom and so on. So this has taken its content from YouTube. So all we really need to do is to take the source of the video from the site and then integrate an iframe in here. So we can see here, so this is with insight information and then videos. And then we're passing in a string here, which will def define our video. Information, video. Okay, so here's the site that we've seen before. this case that's the name of the link and then this is the the controller that is called so we need to have uh, an action with inside the controller name videos and in this case this will post a get to the action and then it will pass a string to it what will happen with inside there is we'll parse that string and then it will show the the video within an iframe. So here we are. So we have a partial view here. And it's really the partial view that we want to update. So with inside there, we're, de we're displaying this TBGS. So let's have a look at our controller. So our controller will be called the information controller. And here we are. And it should be called video. There we go. So we're calling it HTTP to get because it's an action link. This is the string that comes in. We test if it's null because sometimes when we come into it, the this value won't be set. When we come in, we do a split, set the JS value here, and then that sets a view bag in this case. So the view bag will then be displayed with inside the iframe. So let's give it a try. this one and we can see straight away there's the string that's coming in now js is equal to this and then what should happen now is that this will be updated it's an iframe we use a source and it will take it from that site and we should be able to see the, the video okay so no matter where we click on we'll get a new video coming in Okay, so this is a, a useful thing uh, to, to implement. And we can see there that the URL contains a word called video, which matches up with the, contains a word called sort by. Sort by is what's passed into this action and is then parsed. When we come into it for the first time, so just like this. We should find that the string is actually a, a null. The sort by. Okay, there we go. So 
so, so now okay so this to be get is useful when we're posting into the page for the first time or we want to refresh the whole page if we click on the action link we pass the value of sort by and we can see how that happens with the action link we create this this variable to be input and so on.